electric so, right here, so all you need to do is on and off. And then you will know so when we switch. use electric, <laughs> we switch it on? Yes. yes. For the hot water? Yes. Okay. Okay. If you're somewhere and you don't have electric, then there's a switch inside that says water heater. Mm -hmm. And it will light by propane, but it will just, you flip the switch and it lights. Okay? Yeah. Then uh, if you know electric, you say you keep that water, mm -hmm. water and then... Yes, and, then. and it'll and it'll heat it So So if you, if you don't turn it on, it will heat from there? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay? Yes. Now, trailer has two water systems. This is fresh water, so you go into the park and you're going to go to an area called the dump station, mm -hmm. which is where you can dump your septic tanks, mm -hmm. but there's going to be a big tall steel pole that looks like a big candy cane, and mm -hmm. it'll have a water hose on the end of it, mm -hmm. and it's potable drinking water, and okay. it's tested all the time, so it will, you will fill this up and use that water. But in order to use that, you're going to fill it up into a tank that holds 30 gallons, and then inside you'll flick a switch and it'll pump the water to where you need it. Is it easy to do? Yes, yeah. very easy. You just pull up and the hose goes in, you turn it, it on. It go by itself? Uh, you'll turn it on and it'll fill up. So turn from the, 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 yeah, the hose, be, they, uh, they have it. They'll have some kind of a yeah. tap. When it's full, it spits back out at you. Okay. Okay? So, so that's for drinking water. That's for drinking water. Now you might be at another site where they have water at your site. Mm -hmm. So there'll be a post at the campground mm -hmm. and it'll have a brass tap mm -hmm. for water. And you can take a water hose and connect it to here. Okay. This is your city water. Okay. So from that water hose, they have the pressure. So you don't need the pump. You just turn on the tap and the water comes out. So this okay. is the water go in yes. to the, the RV? Yeah. Okay. okay, so that's for city water. City so that's water. when they have... So if you're camping at a provincial campground, okay. likely they don't have a tap, uh -huh. and you'll have to fill up your tank. But it, what... Um, we have to have our own hose, or they have... Yes. Okay, yeah. so you But I'll get you set up with a the hose. There's very few things you need. Okay. You'll need a hose yeah. and a water regulator to control the pressure. Okay. Oh, oh and the fresh water and the city water, you know. Yeah, your fresh water in your city. So two types, two different ways to get the water. Mm -hmm. um, once you have that fresh water and you go camping for three, four days and you use the water, as you leave the campground, there's a fitting down here. Okay, mm -hmm. this white fitting. Mm -hmm. You're going to take that off and let the water drain as you travel down the road. Okay. Because you don't want the water to stay in the tank because when it's hot, it'll get... It's just not good for water to sit like that. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't want to carry that with your car. It's too heavy. Because water is 10 pounds per gallon. So if you had 10 pounds in there, you'd have an extra 100, 100 pounds of weight behind you. So you just don't want yeah. that extra weight if you don't have to have it. Yeah. Okay? So that's your water system. And I'll show you the switch inside for the water pump. Oh, yeah, sure. How, how is it now? Inside, there's a monitor panel that'll tell you how much water you have. Okay. Okay. It'll tell you how much is in each of your tanks. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know where how we dump the water. Well, that's that's at the campsite. At the campsite. All campsite do that. How, how yeah. Okay? At the campsite, when you come into a campground, there'll be a special place to dump and get water, and you'll go in. There. Yeah, but they tell you, right? They'll, they'll tell you. Yeah. yeah that's when you hit the gate, you'll say, "I need water," mm -hmm. and they'll say, "You're going to turn left." through here or right mostly when you do that if you don't stay at that campsite you just walk in right yes okay so if you the other thing you can do is i don't know how far away the campsites are that you have well we we don't know yet but okay. we try to think about the picton town so it's yep. not far from here kingston yep yeah because if you're because you can always bring water from home as well okay so you could fill this water tank up at your house if you wanted to okay but you're just going to be towing that down the road with you. Okay. But I think your car has lots of tow. How much can you tow with your car? 3,500 or okay. four, yeah. something like that. Oh, yeah. three, eight, something like yeah. that. Okay. So you're likely wanting to fill it when you get there. So okay. So you don't tow it. Okay. But every campground has a place to fill up water. Yeah. Every single one. Yeah. Okay. This is the vent from your furnace. So um, when you turn your furnace on inside, this is just the vent, but it gets hot. If you had small kids, it will burn their fingers if they touch it when it's running. Okay. Okay? Um, now, 
So your septic system. So you have two outlets. Mm -hmm. One is from the toilet. Yeah. Okay, this is your sewer outlet mm -hmm. with the black handle. Mm -hmm. The other one is this one with the gray handle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the black one comes from the toilet. Mm -hmm. And when you dump your water out of there, going to get you a different hose before you leave. This is only 10 feet. I'm going to get you a longer one. This goes on here and this goes down into their tank. Okay? So that's the waste. That's the waste okay. from the toilet. Okay. So in your toilet, you're going to have to use a special chemical. Mm -hmm. You have to use RV toilet paper so that it breaks apart and you have to use lots of water. Okay. Okay. You leave that closed and then as you're leaving the campground you'll go back to the place where you got the water mm -hmm. and there'll be a dump station to dump okay and you literally just line up it's easy to do you just hook that on you go over you pull this valve how do you pull just pull it out you just pull it out oh okay there's water in it okay okay Oh, okay. So if you I so if you don't use a lot, it's not much coming out, okay? <laughs> okay. So, um, so what I did was I dumped it partially already, but I filled it and I let it sit for two days because mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure there's no leaks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so both of those. So then once you've done this one, then you would close, close. take this off. And you'll wait till it's completely empty. Oh, they have, they you have. don't want to take it out halfway. Well, they have a place for you to do it. Yep. And then you hook it on here. And this one is from your sink mm -hmm. and from your shower. Okay. So this is going to clean this hose out. Okay. Okay. You that open that one. This one's So always do water. the black one before yeah. black the gray. One first. Yep. Just you see the big one is like a toilet at home and the smaller one is like the toilet a toilet in the middle <laughs> and this one for the water right yeah toilet i think and how about this one no that one's nothing that's where you put that's that that's drinking water okay. so these are this is your waste mm -hmm. yeah. and that's where you're drinking okay that and one. i'm gonna leave this out because i'm gonna get you a longer uh, i'm gonna get you a longer hose that's just where you storage that's the storage. Yeah. There's nothing. She just pulled it out from there. Yeah.